My name is Linda Ellerby. I'm a journalist. So please know that any remarks I make right now represent only my own thoughts, as in, this is my opinion. But I'll start with a fact. I lost both my breasts to cancer in 1992, and I'm still here. And in the last 20 years, we've seen millions of women come together and join their voices to ask for, to demand, more money for breast cancer research and awareness. And all these years, I've been going around the country talking to women, listening to women, talking to health care providers, and listening to them, too. We need a cure, everybody says. A cure? Sure. What we really need is a way to prevent breast cancer. It could happen. It's got to. Let me tell you a story. I was in Helena, Montana some years ago for a race for the cure. In the race was a 104-year-old woman. She was in a wheelchair being pushed by, I think it was her great-great-great-granddaughter. And very near to the end of the race, she held her hand up and her great-great-great-granddaughter stepped back and the 104-year-old woman wheeled her own chair across the finish line. And the lady standing next to me turned to me and she said, isn't that wonderful? I hope we're like that at 104. And I looked at her and said, if we are still doing this at 104, we have all done something very, very wrong. So it's time now to do more than race or march or walk or just stand and shout. We need a deadline. Being a journalist, I know exactly how motivating a deadline can be, which is why I want to join my voice to that of the National Breast Cancer Coalition, to the voices of all the women saying, 2020, prevention or cure by the year 2020. That's the deadline. Now make it happen. And we really mean that.